<laughs> Hello, community. There's a myth there. Chat GPT is the devil. So today, today is the time for the truth to uncover this. And you know what? I personally think, yes, Chat GPT is a challenge for school kids, but maybe not in the way that you think about it. So Chat GPT being now the decoder stack of our transformer architecture needs a specific input. It needs a structured prompt sequence. And if you have a kid, let's say you have a daughter and she is interacting with this system, it is not so trivial as you might expect because to be really professional in your interaction, you have to define beforehand the primary topic of the interaction with a GPT system, for example. She has to decide if she wants a dialogue base or an autocomplete conversation. She needs to define here to choose a representative persona for the topic she has chosen. And then, of course, she has to adapt the style of the interaction with this persona on this particular topic for an efficient communication. And believe me, this is not an easy task if you enter a new area that you have to write, I don't know, an essay with 10,000 words about it. She also has to keep in mind that she has to structure the response flow she gets back from an AI in a dialogue system and keep in mind that she wants the whole conversation or the whole dialogue to converge because she has chosen some aims that she wants that this conversation goes to. So she has also to choose between different argumentation paths forward for herself and in response for the AI. So maybe it's a good idea also that she evaluates beforehand some example and cross correlation that she can prepare for those argumentation. As I told you, she clearly has to define her goal for this interaction with a chat GPT or with a general AI system and for herself define the main outcome she wants to achieve. And if she's a clever girl, and I'm sure she is, she will apply semantic triggers for the AI, but wisely, I will show you what I mean. In my last video, I showed you here my first basic introduction prompt to open up here a conversation with ChatGPT was this one here. I defined my topic. It was about innovation dynamics and innovation theory based on Professor Clayton Christensen from Howard. I defined my audience from tech executives and venture capital investors. I defined a persona, Clayton Christensen, and I told ChatGPT to use the term I, and this chat GPT system is now Clayton. I define the style of my communication. Since I have chosen this topic and this professor, it must be a highly academic style with complex argumentation oriented on logic and not emotional. I define the aims I want to achieve with this. And I said, analyze current tech developments based on the theory of, dis of disruptive innovation and we see investment risks analysis to better understand upcoming investment opportunities. And then I told the system, hey, for the last 100 words, you change your, pers your perspective now and your argumentation now in a scientific but now critical way to challenge the current insights. So you see, you can play around with your basic introduction prompt you give to the system. So this is just as an example that you see what I mean. Panteray, yes, of course. So you kids need now to anticipate some quite complex argumentation flow if they operate a chat GPT system. What do I mean in detail? She needs here a clear visualization, not just of a single goal, but of a multitude of goals. She has to have an open mindset for new unexpected arguments the AI might throw at her and believe me, even sometimes those arguments by AI systems are highly irrational and unlogic because the AI has been trained on human interactions. She has to anticipate those argumentation patterns that might emerge and have a strategy ready. Also, she might encounter polarizations. You're not going to believe, but a chat GPT system can be highly emotional. She has to categorize those response in different patterns, structures, and adjust immediately 
within her next prompt, either she can strengthen this path of argumentation or fight against it. She can set, of course, emotional triggers, or if she is here in a purely logic argumentation, she can use semantic triggers because AI system really listen to each and every single word you present in your input prompt. Of course, she has to learn in this complex conversation to stay on course because she set goals for herself. So she has to continuously analyze new emerging decision and argumentation path that emerge in the conversation with the AI if you set the AI to a dialogue mode. She has to get acquainted here with this fluid structure of communication, argumentation, data, facts-based information, and really this is a challenge for a school child. She needs to anticipate reactions also from the audience because either she presents or films here this conversation she has and then presents it to an external audience or she defines what the AI or the chat uh, GPT system should write, produce a report, produce an essay, produce a technical summary that she then will present to an audience. So she should have the ability to anticipate reactions from those audience, know who is the audience, about emotional polarization, think about how she will cope with this, and most important of all, be confident about herself. So you see, it is not at all trivial for a school child to do this. I wish I would have this opportunity. Now, now as a teenager, there is something that called a reverse Turing test. So it is more or less a challenge that you, as a human, you have now to show that you are able to understand the AI system and interact with the AI system in a way that you get the most out of the system. So you have to analyze the AI system. Is it an encoder, decoder, transformer structure? What is it? What is about reinforcement learning? What was the training data set that the system has been trained on? What is the error rate? You should have a basic knowledge about the systems and then you choose, or she chooses now as a teenager, a strategy in the communication accordingly. She can now apply on a technical level something what we call a role prompting in accordance now with her communication goals. As I showed you, I have chosen a professor from Harvard as the persona I want that this system responds to. She has to decide when to rely on zero shot prompting. And this is when you do that you want that the system now comes up and defines some new argumentation patterns, for example. Or you can learn the machine, ChatGPT, new data, provide new information before your communication. We call this a temporal indoctrination of the machine. So you can pre-position the starting point for the AI. You can choose to go with this strategy. Now, of course, the instrument of a one-shot prompt can be very elegant. I mean, there are really some beautiful solutions out there. But of course, keep in mind, or she will know that few-shot promptings are less risky if you want to make sure that you achieve your goals. Of course, limit your adversarial attacks to an AI to critical situations. And you have, of course, a secret weapon. You can reposition the AI itself, the perspective that the AI takes. So you can say you make a jump into the future. You say to tell the AI, hi, now behave differently. The AI will show its future argumentation path or its future path of auto-generating some structure. And you can then respond accordingly. Of course, if she needs some highlights, some attention points, she can also break with an established narrative in her communication with the AI. And the AI will respond because the AI has been trained on human communication. So if you break an established narrative with an AI, it is almost like in a human conversation. It is amazing what works. But you see, more and more our communication process becomes like a game of chess. So therefore, now she, as a young woman with a PhD in computer science, reflects on those times 
On her path of getting familiar with all those different AI systems, her continuous learning about computer science, mathematics, physics, everything about this, her deep understanding of the different AI's inner workings and the specific limitations of specific AI systems, her knowledge of quantum physics and quantum computing, hopefully then with some fluid neural networks, she reflects on logic, on human interaction, on trust and safety issues, on the reliability, questions about security. And I'm quite sure that she will be highly qualified for a professional career. And you know what? On a personal note, I think she will smile when she's looking back at the times when she asked her dad and said, Hey dad, when should I combine an adversarial attack within a few short learning sequence? And why do you still use here this old chain of thought command instead of some quantum derivatives? Why do you not know about this? And this, this is the time I can tell you, yes, yes, you're right. Jet GPT is the devil.